How can a company's logo be illegally placed in a public place, making it illegal to remove it? Here is a McDonald's logo made of flowers by the side of a California highway. There is no indication that the logo is affiliated with McDonald's and it's probably some rogue stunt. Whether McDonald's deliberately planted the flowers where a stranger scattered the seeds, it is undeniably a brilliant marketing move. Supposedly, along the edge of a highway in California, McDonald's scattered flower seeds and when they grew, everyone saw the result. The McDonald's logo formed out of California poppies. Authorities tried to remove the free advertising, but they couldn't. The California poppy is so rare that picking or uprooting it is illegal. In this way, the McDonald's logo catches the attention of drivers on the highway. Still, it's important to clarify that it might be more of an urban legend than a confirmed event. However, let's explore what makes this scenario intriguing and add some background. The California poppy is the state flower of California, officially designated as such in 1903. Due to its significance, the plant is protected by law under the California Department of Fish and Wildlife. Picking, damaging or uprooting poppies or any plant on public lands or along highways is illegal, which plays a vital role in the story. If McDonald's had indeed planted poppy seeds to form its logo, authorities wouldn't have been able to easily remove it, given the plant's protected status. This tale has circulated on social media and in various stories depicting McDonald's as a marketing genius using natural landscapes in a way that authorities couldn't tamper with. While it's a compelling narrative, there is little concrete evidence to support that this specific event happened. However, McDonald's is known for creative advertising, including subtle and environmentally aware campaigns, so it's not entirely implausible. If a company were to create a logo using native flowers like the California poppy, it would raise interesting questions about the intersection of environmentalism and advertising. Using native species could potentially support biodiversity and local ecosystems, although such a strategy could also be criticized as exploitative if it prioritizes brand visibility over environmental integrity. This hypothetical use of California poppies fits into a broader category of guerrilla marketing, where companies use unexpected and often unconventional methods to draw attention to their brand. While McDonald's has a long history of billboards and other traditional marketing, this type of viral campaign, if it had actually happened, would blend corporate branding with environmental elements in a way that's both controversial and creative. In short, the story of McDonald's using California poppies for their logo is a fascinating anecdote. Nonetheless, it touches on corporate ingenuity, environmental protection, and the power of guerrilla marketing.